Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to rig anime facial. In here, for the expression, I will use ship key. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first add a new bone. Go to edit mode. Then bring this up. This will be the head bone. Then we can duplicate this. This will be eye cornea. Then place it in the center of the eye mesh like this next select the eye mesh shift select the armature go to post mode and parent bone Okay. Then we can duplicate this. This will be the eye bone. In here, I don't have any specific method, so I'm just guessing. Okay, select the eye cornea. Then shift select the eye bone and parent keep offset. Next, select the eye cornea, go to constraint, add a transformation, set the target to armature. The bone is this eye bone. Set the target to local space. The owner to local space. And set both map from and map to to rotation. Then set the minimum to minus 180 for all axes and the maximum to 180 for all axes and in here set the minimum to 125 and the maximum to minus 125 so why am i doing this because i want the eye to always face forward so for example, as you can see here, it will have a weird look. So that's why I want to this always face forward. Next, we need to adjust the IP pivot. Okay, I think it's enough. Then we can make an aim system. So duplicate this bone. Then rename this bone to CT underscore I. Then select the I bone. Go to constraint, add them track constraint. Alright, select the target to armature, 
the point is CTAIL. Okay, it's working. Then select the icornia. Add copy scale constraint. The target is uh, mature. The point is same CTIL. And the target is local space. The owner is local space. Okay. All right. Before we work on the expression, we can create a shape for the controller. Okay, in here, in the viewport display, we can select our shape. Then we can adjust the rotation yes. and do the same for the head. And then we can select the eye controller and the eye bone. Shift so select to the head, and we can pattern keep offset. Then select hair and the head mesh. Shift so select the armature. Select the head, and we can pattern to bone. Okay, next step is for the expression. Here I already have a collection of zip keys. First, we can duplicate this spoon. Okay. And then we can rename this. This will be iPro. Then we can duplicate this again. Scale it a bit. This will be iPro container. And then we can make a new ship. Can select the hyper container to add plane. Okay, and then in here we only need the x and y axis, so we can lock the other attributes. And then we can add constraint, limit location. As you can see here, we need 0 0.1, so we can limit the minimum to minus 0 0.1 and the maximum to 0 0.1. Set the owner to local space. Right. Next is we need to connect the ship key to the controller. In here, right click on the Y location, select copy as new driver, go to the head mesh. In here, let's see here, right click on the value. Select Pass Driver. Let's bring this up. As you can see here, we have driver value. We need to value to be 1. So change type to scripted expression and the location time by 10. Okay. Then next is I brew down, paste the driver, edit driver, change the scripted, and here times by minus 10. Ok, 
okay then same process you right click copy as driver set paste driver edit script it okay sometimes by 10 okay, okay we can right click on preview copy driver here right click paste driver edit here we can change to minus 10 let's check okay it's working next step is can duplicate this bring it down this will be eyelid okay, this is the eyelid container okay so same process here Then we can duplicate this again. Place it here, and for the container, we can make it a bit small. Bring it to the left. Here, we just need x axis, so we can lock the y axis. This is, will be for name A. Rename this to A container. Okay. Then same process. Okay, that's all. Make sure everything is connected to the head. Okay, next we working on the eye. Select this bone. Right click. Select symmetrize. Okay, then we can do the same process and then select this on the containers in here select the filter icon and enable the selectable here we can uncheck the selectable to all the container okay so we cannot select the container okay that's all for today thanks for watching and Goodbye.